Oh, hi there, welcome back. Uh, I'm doing my uh, HG retraining uh, just about five minutes up the road. So I've been coming here in the morning because I've got about half an hour to kill after I've took the door to school. So I thought I'd try out my new stove. I was going to leave it until I went camping at the end of the month and do a review then. I'm still going to do I'm still going to try it out properly when I go camping, but I thought it's been a while since I've uploaded a video, so I'll, uh, I'll get this one done now. So this is it, the Red Camp alcohol stove. Comes with a nice little stand as well. Um, about £13 of Amazon. I'll stick a link in the description below so you can have a look. Why have I got this when I've got a jet boil that works perfect? Well, truth be told, the jet boil is not brilliant in winter. Um, and winter's coming, obviously, without sounding like Jon Snow from Game of Thrones. Um, when we went to the mermaid pool and when it's passed it dropped to about minus four i'll stick them videos in the card at the end so you can add check them out um, when it got down to about minus four the jet boil struggled the gas canisters were cold the gas wasn't coming through it took about seven or eight minutes to warm up uh, to boil some water for a drink which normally those who know the jet boil it takes normally about a minute and a half to boil a litre of water so with winter coming i've decided i've bought this alcohol stove it'll keep burning uh, into minus conditions so we'll try it out i'm going to try it out next camp we're camping at the end of the month of, well beginning of october first of october so that will be roughly about around then when the next video is out um, i'm going to try it out camping then but i bought it today um, just to show you what it's about what it's like i have been using this at work um so i know it works so but i thought i'd do a review on it so we'll fill it up we'll get it going we'll see how long it takes to boil right so we have the stove set up in this little stand um there's many different ways you can put this in i literally i found the best way is just to sit it in there and put the pot on top it's a little matriarch pot it's got 300 ml of water in the only thing is that is a bit too small for this so what i've done i've put these little i've made these little brackets i don't know if you can see them just out of some gate um gate staples i've just folded them up put them on and the pot sits nicely on top of there then so we've got this natrite pot it does sit inside if you put the burner in the other way you can just slot it inside but I found the best way so it doesn't burn the table or the floor is to just sit it in there it's got a little gap underneath uh, we've got some of this fire dragon gel in so we'll get this going get this boiling uh, we're using 300 ml of water I'll set the timer on my watch and we'll see how long it takes to boil right so I've nicked uh, the candle can't really see the flame but it's kicking some heat out so that's that then we'll put the pot on put on the lid and set the timer start the timer going then uh, we'll uh, see how long that takes to boil while that boils I'll, uh, I'm gonna have a fly around with a drone and I'll show you this beautiful spot I found Right, so that's just gone past the eight minute mark. It's not boiling, but it's warm enough for a coffee. Um, I know it's not the fastest stove in the world, but all the setup for under 25 pound, including the fuel, can't grumble like that, really. When you're out camping, you've got all the time in the world. So you don't need to, you don't really, you don't need a cup of tea, water to boil in a minute. You can sit some dinner on there, have it bubbling away like I say I'll, I'll try it out properly in the field this is just a test in the local park so we'll uh, get this coffee and uh, see how we go look like I say these pots pots and pans are all right I've got my coffee and then we've got this little lid put the flame out stick that on top and it's out 
let it cool down, put it away. Job's a good one. I've got it mainly for the colder weather. Normally I'll just use my jet boil um, for everything else, but it's coming up to winter. Uh, it's going to be dropping to minuses. Like I say, it's, it's getting colder at night now. The skies are clear. It's, we're getting into autumn, or we are in autumn. So, yeah, we'll see how I'm, I'll, I'll still take my jet boil anyway. So this is just really a backup stove, just in case. But I know for a fact, when it gets to winter, when it gets to like November, December time, it starts getting really cold, January, um, my jet boil is going to be useless at night. So this is this is ideal. For 25 quid for a backup stove or for an alcohol stove with the pots and pans, you can use other pots and pans. I just bought them ones because they were cheap. Everything's linked in the description below. It's it's a good little stove. For what I've used it, like I say, I've been using it at work because we've got no. We work in a big yard. There's no uh, no access to power, so I've just been using this. I don't want to ruin my jet boil at work, so for, like I say, for 25 quid for a full kit, it comes in handy if it lasts a month or so. So if it just lasts over winter, it's no big deal. I've not ruined my jet boil. I've, uh, I'll just go out and buy another one. So that's my views on the Red Camp stove. I will update you on my next camp, which is in uh, a few weeks, 1st of October. So the video will hit a few, few days after that. So if you like this, if you like what you've seen in this video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And uh, I'll see you on the next camp.